What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, today, taking a drive out, gonna go watch the UFC with uh, Matt or not Matt, Josh, um, Josh and his guys. He's hosting uh, UFC fights. Uh, second time I'm out there for UFC fights and stuff like that, which is always fun. Always fun to go uh, shoot the shit with friends and watch some, some dope ass fights. You know, um, it's like Sergey. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. I'm trying to drive and stuff like that, but. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to whoop some ass. I mean, he's like the number one feared guy in the heavyweight division. And then we got um, Alex Pereira versus Yuri Prohaska, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to see Yuri uh, come back. I wanted to see him fight Glover again because Glover had his number. Sometimes some, some people just got your numbers, man. Um, but this is going to be an awesome fight, too. Uh, it was an awesome stare down and stuff like that. I don't think you could discount either one of these guys right uh both very dangerous um yuri is a little more unorthodox uh, alex Pereira, he's a he'll stalk you he's the predator predator right he's stalking his prey um stuff like that so uh it's gonna be exciting i can't i don't think i can pick an exact winner but um i i want to say that alex has the advantage because he's fought more recently in actual fights you know what i mean and I mean, that doesn't discredit anything. Alex is coming off an injury that was potentially a career ender. So we'll see how he looks. Um, will there be a lot of rust? Will there, will that injury bug him or anything like that? Uh, we'll have to find out, you know what I mean? So um, it, it'll be awesome. It'll be a good fight, I think. Um, you know, so look forward to it. And, you know, it's, it's always awesome when you, you're able to witness these kind of things, you know, big fights and stuff like that. Uh, big, always been a big fan of MMA myself since I was growing up, you know, uh, since I was a kid. Uh, we had this uh, Native American class, uh, Native Studies class down in the cities. Um, it was with one of the people that helped kind of bring back, uh, like, big drum to, uh, you know, singing and stuff like that. It was, his name's Johnny Smith. He passed away a couple of years ago, but he was, um, he was a big advocate for that kind of stuff. He helped bring back... Uh, the, some of those traditions like that, you know, and revitalize it and stuff like that. And he helped um, teach uh, drum and dance to kids growing up down in the cities, you know, down in uh, 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 down in Twin Cities, down down in Dinky Town, you know. Uh, he was at powwows, he danced still and stuff like that. It was unfortunate, uh, but you know, everybody, whenever it's anybody's time to go, you have no choice but to go, right? Uh, he was always a, he was a great man. I, he was great, great to me. He was great to uh, many other people, you know. And you know, it's it sucks, you know. You lose somebody like that that was able to bring s awesome stuff to the people, like Native peoples and stuff like that. And you know, even at the time, a lot of people didn't really appreciate it as much, you know, because when you're young, you're naive. You don't really know, you know. The next generation might not know who. Who that last person was that came before them that helped build onto something, you know. And that, that I'm glad we're coming into uh, more opportunities where we can expose them more for those things, you know, like bring them out and uh, be able to show them and stuff like that, per se, you know. And it, it doesn't, I don't know, it, it, I don't think it really matters to them, but you know, because they're just doing what they believe is right, and that's, I think that's how a lot of other people should be thinking as well instead of thinking of you know uh, what will get them noticed and what's going to make them um, more money and stuff like that well, i'm sure sure money's nice and stuff like that but um if that's if that's your full intent then you're probably not doing something you enjoy you know what i mean and there's a there's going to be a difference between uh, doing something that you love and doing something for money you know and sometimes you know, doing something that you love gets you broke. It just does. Uh, there might be somebody better than you at it, or they, somebody just knows a little bit more. Somebody worked way harder, you know? Especially if you work in like, uh, towards competitions of like basketball and football and stuff like that, you know, and that's, it kind of sucks, but you know, at the same time, it's it's awesome because then you got, got a bunch of people to compete with. I mean, even you can look at it as uh, for singing, singing and dancing, you know? You can only be one top group i mean many people will be divided and stuff like that because their uncle's on a drum group or something like that but you know uh, for the most part they know who the like the, be the best groups are and like we're pretty dead even i guess 
and then there's like the top dancers and you know stuff like that so they might have them in different um like regions where they're, these are top dancers and then you know at the end of the year they'll have who, who's like the best fucking grass dancer traditional traditional dancer jingle dress dancer and stuff like that which is freaking awesome too you know uh they have certain native american awards for uh, grammys too right they have grammys for uh, native american culture uh, songs nowadays too so that's awesome too uh, it's not as publicized or anything like that but i think a lot of these people are starting to do more podcasts and stuff like that which is awesome and get to share their story of uh, you know how they were up and coming or how it was up and coming for them you know um i, I don't know i i, I want to talk to like my uh, uncles and stuff like that and you know see see how how it was for them uh, like what motivated them to um, do like more of those powwow things or you know singing or dancing or you know whatever you know and yeah it just i don't know sometimes it's hard to find the courage within myself to ask people you know to without being weird because that's who i am right now I'm trying to do no shave november ain't got no beard but is what it is right I'll probably just chop it out, but I'm just going to wait till after November. Freak it. Might as well see where it's thin at. Almost everywhere, right? So, anyways, I hope everybody's having a great time. Um, things to look forward to. Thanksgiving, Turkey Day, man. Holy buckets. Gobble, gobble. Um, if you don't celebrate it, um, well, then I guess, you know, you're just going to be another normal day for you, you know? Um, but for those who do celebrate it and uh, bring brings families together to, to eat and uh, BS and have a good time ultimately right um, I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys stay safe and stuff like that and you know um, just just have a pleasant day overall because you know the, the main thing is is that that's the main focus instead of you know who makes the best mashed potatoes or something you know which is also awesome too for those who are uh, witnessing that contest you know um, I know my family they would always have um like salsa, salsa making contest, who can make the hottest salsa. Uh, I love to be a part of that because I love to some chips and salsa. Uh, a little bit weirdo though, I use potato chips to eat the salsa instead of tortilla chips. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. That's just how our family was. Uh, comment down below if you're, you're for the potato chip for salsa or you, you straight up die hard tortilla, uh, tortilla guy. Um, tortilla, tortilla, that's what I call it. Um, but you know everybody has the preference i guess and uh, mine happens to be potato chips and that's just how we, we we did it growing up i think they were cheaper than the than the tortillas for chips that's why we did it but i still do it to this day even though they're about to even in price you know let's get the little cheap chips as cheap as you can you know they're even the cheap ones are expensive nowadays it sucks it's crazy but you know what do you do you can i guess you can get your own potatoes and start frying up your own chips you know which i'm gonna tr i'm gonna do i did it once when i was younger but i'm like that's too much work but then nowadays i'm like free kid might as well might as well do it you know what i mean so um yeah it, there ain't no harm no foul or fall or anything like that so um if you can do it might as well you know enjoy yourself and maybe even do it with family members of, of, of your son your daughters or uh, nephews, nieces, or your, your wife, or something like that, you know, might as well. And, you know, it is what it is. Enjoy those holidays. That's, that's what they're there for, is bringing people together to celebrate, um, you know. Sometimes, sometimes it's a much needed get, get away from uh, everyday life, you know, and some of the that, that hardships that comes with it, you know, and you can go offload some of that that stuff too you know but um, there's also people that kind of well they, they can't really celebrate you know family's gone or you know they don't really they're not really on talking terms anymore you know which is it sucks but um, you know it happens if you ain't got no friends if you ain't got no family you know you might want to try to change that you know to have somebody to talk to or whatever you know um, go out there and make them you gotta you know it's sometimes life that's just how life goes you know you, you're not gonna 
have what everybody else have has. You're going to have what you have or what you built or what life gave you, you know what I mean? So um, that's why it's a good idea to treat people well, you know. Uh, treat, especially if you want somebody in your life to help you out when you need help, you know. So try to help them when you can and stuff like that. If you got it, you got to give it a little bit, you know. Um, you, you look at it as, you know, like... If I was in that situation, you know, I, I, I'd want to, I'd want somebody to help me out too, you know. And I don't know. It's just, it's just how I think sometimes. But you know, it doesn't mean I'm right or wrong, you know. It doesn't mean you're right or wrong for anything either. It just you're gonna do what you're gonna do, especially if you're an adult, you know. And you know, life's full of choices, choices that you, you make and you gotta ultimately live with, you know. And nobody's gonna judge you for it, except for yourself, you know. If it bugs you, do something about it, you know? That's it's as simple as that. And at the same time, it's that hard because it's hard to do that. It's hard to confront things. It's hard to do something that you're not used to doing, you know? And um, it can be scary. It can be, you know, whatever. Whatever thing you're fearing, uh, you know? Whatever. Little fears, little anything, you know? So... You got to conquer those things and try to get over them, especially if you want to be better and stuff like that. It, I, I mention this all the time. It's it's easier said than done. I thought it is for everybody. Um, I had a conversation with my little brother, you know, told him, told him if they ever want to do like podcasts or anything, share anything, or even just talk about stuff, you know, like uh, I'll be there, you know, just hit me up, let me know. And then, you know, they said, they said that they'd be too scared and too nervous about that being in front of cameras i'm like hey man so am i then he had me off was like oh you're lying because you do it all the time i'm like that's that's not true man i'm nervous all the time every time i start recording every time before that before i say anything that could be uh considered controversial you know what i mean and i'm nervous at all times because i don't know how it's going to turn out i don't know how any of that because usually on a podcast i just wing it you know and these rambles I, I get a little easier, but it's it's hard to like say stuff. It's hard to think of things, you know, because I'm I'm winging this stuff too most of the time. I might think of a topic, but I don't remember Jack Diddley about what I'm gonna say at all, you know. Um, unless if I like try to record it and then like it, it messes up, then I have to restart recording it, and then I tr- try to remember it. But then I might forget some of the things I already said and stuff like that, and it gets messy. So. I'm like, man, that sucks. But, you know, it, it is what it is. You just try to carry forward, you know. That's all, that's all you can do. Um, you know, it's trying to hold yourself accountable for, for your own actions and, uh, and what you create and what you share with the world, you know, instead of um, worrying about what other people expect of you or something like that. So um, it is what it is. Nothing you can nothing you can do about some stuff so uh, but then there's other things that you can do do something about it and so uh, if you can do it i i recommend that you try to at least at least even if it means uh failure for sure failure you know um, sometimes failure doesn't mean that you failed you know it just means that you got to figure it out you got to change something you gotta you gotta um, think outside the box sometimes you know and um, you know you just got to do your best um, because sometimes when you do your best and you be considered a failure, you didn't really fail. Maybe you feel better about it, you know. Um, so if you feel better and you know you left it all out there, just know that you didn't really fail, man. You learn maybe for the next time. Try to carry it on for the next year or the next event or something, you know. Uh, what? How do you push yourself to become better, you know? And I think, you know, I always, I always say this about sports or any kind of activity that where somebody has to be considered the best at something you know is that when you're if you're not pushing yourself to be the best at something or those around you aren't neither then are you really striving to be the best you know and you know you you need that kind of stuff to help you see what it does what it takes to to be more to do more and stuff like that you know uh, especially in like those those team aspects and stuff, you know, uh, you get to you you have to 
not just that you're not thinking about just yourself you're thinking about your teammates and um, some of their weaknesses and how you have to step up or something possibly or how they have to step up for you or where your weaknesses are where you have to get stronger so that nobody has to step up for you you know what I mean and it, it's tough it's always tough. it's always gonna be tough right life life's life's tough like that and it's also fun it's fun because it's a challenge and it's something to overcome right um, it's, it's it's beautiful I like it I like it I like I love the challenges and overcoming things but if it's if I have to do it alone it's not a challenge it's not anything you know um, it, it's cool when you get to have somebody there with you walking you know but sometimes when you do it alone too you just got to dig deep you know like going to the gym or you know, working on your jump shot or some crap like that you know oh, shoot. slow down a little bit we got this big old steep curve here but you know you should drive this every morning <laughs> for, for a couple, few months until you know became single in between um winger and fast in here but it was you know I it was like right after I quit the casino too so I remember working at, I worked at the casino and then one day I just I couldn't take it anymore I couldn't be there anymore um, looking at certain faces and stuff like that um, being with the person that I thought I loved you know and I knew I knew it was done long before it, it actually ended you know and I just, I held myself there, you know, I held myself there, it seemed like an eternity, uh, with somebody that I thought had my back, I thought I had her back, even though at the same time I knew that I didn't really have her back, she didn't have my back neither, that I should have moved on well before I did move on, you know, and uh, or let her go, because it was... I say we broke up together uh, from each other and stuff like that. It was because she did, she did bring it up. She was like, "I think we should go our separate or separate ways." And I had already known it. And I was like, "All right, you know, I'm not I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, it's time to move on." I already knew it. I just didn't want to be the one that said that because I was like I said I was always wanting to prove my mom wrong or some shit because she was telling me I was wrong about that, that I was this or that, and I'm like, dude, I ain't wrong, this, you know, but it wasn't necessarily that she was right about it, it was because I stopped working at it, you know, and I stopped being a better person, and then, you know, it's not, not entirely my fault, because it was also that girl's fault, because it's, it takes two people in the relationship to work at it, you know, and um, there was abuse, um, both sides, most, you know, both sides were abusing each other, I was... I'd abuse her verbally, she'd abuse me verbally, physically, she'd abuse me physically, and, um, you know, I'd push her or some stuff like that, which is physical, it's still physical abuse, but at least I didn't, like, punch her or anything like that, or I'd beat the shit out of her, I mean, you know, her, for her physically, she was punching me in the face and stuff like that, which it hurts, I don't care what anybody says, she was, she was a uh, five, five, eight, five, nine mean right hug she did a shot putt so she she did shot putt no I'm, I'm sure she knew some mechanics and throwing stuff her dad was a you know a cop and stuff like that uh taught her how to do some defensive stuff and whatnot um uh, she she punched me harder harder than some i've been punched by some guys in my lifetime you know <laughs> so i mean that's the truth that's the truth behind it for me and you know um it, I almost lost it that one night when she punched me. She punched me probably like 15, 20 times this one night. And I almost beat the shit out of her, you know. And I'm glad I didn't. I didn't. And I kept my cool and I held it in. I'm like, dude. I, I did push her, though. I pushed her onto the ground. She went crying and stuff like that. It was a... I used to live in old creamery and winger here and stuff like that. And she ran into the bedroom there. We were in, like, the top right side. Um, stuff like that. But... You know, I'm not perfect. She's not perfect neither, or anything like that. But when it's time to go your separate ways, you got you got to. You know, you got to let them go. Um, but they're trying to let you go too because I'm sure that other person knows too that they're not they're not good. You know, they're not good in this relationship. You guys are making each other shitheads, um, and 
being people that you don't, that you never thought you were going to be, maybe, you know, and I always say this, too, like, girls can abuse guys, too, so, uh, especially if they know what they're doing, i seen a girl knock a dude out, so, I mean, it's what it is, all it takes is one punch to the chin, people don't understand that, so, uh, you know, whatever, right, maybe for a bitch, day time, man, why are you bright? but, I don't even have my headlights on. I don't got my brights. Whatever. It is what it is. No road range. I'll let that slip into you. Um, sometimes I'm a kid about it. So, but you know, I think I'm gonna conclude this though, guys. I thank you, thank you for coming, hanging out. If you like this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. I do appreciate it. And uh, um, keep it tight, guys. Peace.